what's up guys so today I'll be going through my level progression over the past few years and yeah you can comment what you think of my levels so oh the first level I made was called portals it was a really bad level really bad yeah very annoying level lots of people didn't like it yeah one of my traits that you might notice over my levels um is they're all very hard levels I tried to make them hard and I didn't really make many easy levels this was one that I made ages ago it was my second level it was a proper level kind, kind of tricky levels were got lots of likes on that level these, this was another one. Not that good of a level. Just trying to experiment with some of those sort of designs. Yeah. This one, not exactly sure what this one is. Oh yeah, this one was sort of an instructory level, so like a it was meant with practice mode music, and it was meant to sort of like be a really easy one. Yeah, so there's the password if you want to copy that level for some reason. This one might be one of my best levels. Got lots, like almost 200 downloads now. It's called Pharaoh's Tomb. And it's very nice level, as you'll see. I'm not using any of the music because of the copyright, and I'd rather not have my video deleted from YouTube. A lot of fake, fake, um, fakes in this level. And here's the cool part. So this is the first time I used the move triggers, really. And made a proper long level. It was pretty good, in my opinion. This part, um, I was meant to make so that you always had to go through those puzzle things but it didn't end up how I wanted it to so I just left it hard ob obstacles here then the drop is here I made it kind of hard ship part yeah the rest is similar this is the next level I made and it was another hard level and it was sort of meant to be like a spooky level, as you can might be able to tell. Also a very hard level of that flying part. I made some coins in it, but the coins are pretty hard to get. The wave parts, not too tricky. And I used those faces in my Ferris Tomb one as well. And jewel parts, which were in the first level I showed you as well, but I didn't make it that far. This one was very bad level. Wasn't really sure what I was trying to do. I was trying to experiment with fire being the spikes in this level. But it looks pretty horrific. I'm not sure how long it was. Yeah. 
this one, oh, this is very... I tried to make it as hard as I could, but I couldn't actually do it myself, so I put a stick away and I feel bad about it. It was supposed to just be a challenge level for people that wanted to do it. Have a proper challenge, because I thought I was a pretty bad player. So I just verified it by um, putting a secret away, which I should hopefully can get to. Yeah, it was there. But yeah, that didn't work out. I couldn't actually beat it, so I just made it as the challenge for other people to beat it. This was a collab I was going to do with um, a guy called Can, who, that's his username, and it, it looked really good, but then I'm not sure what happened, I lost my account and stuff, so I don't have as many diamonds and stars as I did back then, but it was very nice how when he did it, like after he created his part, because my part was pretty bad. I wasn't that good at creating. Yeah, and this was um, meant to be a competition. I tried, which was sort of meant to be like the first level, but it was horrific. So I asked if other people wanted to like improve it, and then I would pick which one's the best. But um, no one really wanted to do it, so that didn't work out. This guy, yeah. In one of my other videos, which I which actually lost the recording to, I was checking out his levels. Got a few featured levels, and he he was friended to me for a part, but I guess he probably stopped because I was uh, I had like I stopped being active on Geometry Dash because I lost my account and I didn't really want to do any more, so I was pretty annoyed. This was a preview for the second level, which I had looked like lots of people to help me collab with. But, um, pretty sure I lost my account around here, and, yeah, so, Ferris Turn 2 Preview was the last level I made before losing my account, and this was, like, a part collab with, um, with my brother, but we never any really finished it. He, he uploaded it, but I'm not really sure what it's called or anything. This level was one, another one that I was experimenting on, but it seemed like a lot diff better than my other levels. Yeah, so I made these UFO parts, and that, the, I'll show you the, um, oh, never mind. There was a, the ball part that was there was actually the hardest part to make, because I took so long trying to make it, and it didn't work out. This one was a preview for a level that I was going to name Solitude, but I ended up naming it The Thing Below. You can go check that out if you want. And, um, yeah, it's got a boss fight in it, and this was probably my first good level. So I had the monster there. Yeah, so that, that was what I did. I ended up uh, yeah, I made more and more of the level. This one was the real one, but no one really saw it, so I made, I revamped it, made it way better. Yeah, so this one just has a little bit more obstacles. Not too much more than the other one. But I don't have the green background, so I'm not sure what happened to that. I might have deleted it when, by not adding layers like I should have in the level. Yeah, so I, I sort of made, tried to make it like a story and ended up making... That was, might be the hardest part of the level. I made it a, a three-level series, which um, the third level I haven't ex completed yet. This one was that the same level, but um, someone wanted to try to verify it, so I made it a bit easier. But still hard enough. So... And experimenting, well, I was just experimenting with colors and triggers. Mainly the toggle trigger, like that, which I saw on a level called the Scream Room. 
No, Fear Zone by um, 2D Joes, I think. And it was in the um, Shadow Gauntlet. It was a very good level. And I tried to recreate that a bit, which you might have seen in, uh, you you might see in this level. This one was the finally final version of 8,000 objects. So the start's a bit slower than before, and um, the decoration's a lot better, as you can probably tell. One of my other videos has me has me uh, has me verifying it. It's pretty hard, so maybe go watch that video if you wanna check that out. Alice of the Beast, um, it's what, so the Desolation preview, um, which was this one, I ended up renaming it Malice of the Beast because Malice of the Beast is the only level with the name Malice of the Beast, so more people might see it, I thought. Well, one of the only levels. So here's the full version. And yeah, this one, I was mostly, I tried to make it better with glow and um, those moving backgrounds. It's also on my channel if you want to see that as well. This one is the one I'm working on right now. I just made the, a tiny bit of it. But I mean, I, this is the one that I actually want to get featured. The other ones were sort of just to um, finish off to just experiment and stuff. So this is Fist of Justice. Um, it's not released yet, so this is the first time that it's like a sneak peek. If you wanna keep checking my channel and then you might be the first one to comment. And so this one, I also wanted to get featured. So I made those, I basically made everything and then upgraded everything and upgraded it again. But there's still some parts I need to do. That's a nine circles part which I got inspired by nine circles. This one is sort of meant to be like um, my level solitude, and um, this part I'm not sure. It's sort of like Furious too, but just cause. And there's a cool boss fight here which I made myself. It took a long time. He shoots lasers out of his eyes. Yeah, that was a cool part. So just another fun level for people that want to do it. And there's a really big drop here, which I, that's mainly the reason I wasn't sure what to make. That cowboy garden might have taken the longest time to make. I even made bullets shoot out of it, but they're hard to see, so... I don't know. This is like a desert part of the buildings, which was actually inspired by my brother. He thought... He said that it might look cool. This rainbow part, I... It was... The level's basically meant to be switching between different style levels. This one, an underwater one, inspired by Deep by Sandal. This one, by Nine Circles. Um, this part, from the thing below, and I made it a bit better by making a sort of computer-like backgrounds with the glow going up and down on it to make it look a bit better. This part is sort of meant to be like you're entering the temple with the Fist of Justice in it. Which um, will eventually like kill the beast in the end. But I haven't made that much of it yet. So these other ones were just um, challenges. So this was a sp to see how how much the spider could th fit through, which was actually really uh, insane how much it could fit through. This was just a test to see if I, if while things are following the player X, can it still move, like, move X instead of just up and down, which it normally does. Which, so I can do that, which would be easier for the beast to lash out and stuff. This part was another, like, dual flying part, which I was trying to think. So I saw on one of Lemon's, um, one of Lemon's videos, he said, is recommending parts for hard levels and so that was one of them and this one was the one that I, I wasn't I don't, wasn't really didn't really know what I was doing but I tried to make it look as good as I can 
kind of looks a bit over decorated now but it's mainly because of the move triggers i had it sort of i turned off the toggle trigger which would make it look like you're looking through a camera but um you couldn't really see all the other stuff that i'd put in so i took that away and it looked a bit weird with the camera so this is it for now the mainly the level that i want to get featured and i've got a clock there which i'm gonna make tick and Maybe have some other like smaller clocks in the background with less opacity. Yeah, so I can pretty much do that now. Just gotta add. Wait, to make it a bit better. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, so add that all into a group twenty six. So I might do some, so now I might just show you a few of my building tips. They might not be that good, they might not work for you, but it work, this is just stuff that I'm, I've been testing out. So this clock, clocks are always kind of cool to have ticking. This level is most mainly inspired by one of the Gullet levels called um, Half Past Twelve. Which um, I recently beat, and it was really, really inspired me. So this is the level. It's pretty cool level and quite simple, but it looks really nice with the black and white colors. And the clock in the background also kind of inspired me. Yeah. So yeah, really interesting gameplay and good decoration. The block design is pretty simple but looks really nice. All the small background things. And even how he, um, he made the arrows connect to the orbs and switch which way they were facing I thought was pretty cool. That's mainly what I, the idea I was going for. But I made the clock look a bit more modern-ish. That was kind of tricky to make, but mainly what I did was I had these here and I made them as big as I could and made them a darker color to the face of the clock, which was, which was just, um, oh, whoops, which was just the, no, which was just like normal blocks like that, which were, yeah, these, these blocks. And I put them in the top, the bottom, left and right of the clock. And then I just copied them and spun them around. So, and then added some more to fill in. And I used these these as the clock hands. The reason I used these and not just normal blocks is because the normal blocks don't turn with like keeping their form. But um, they probably, actually maybe they would have, but... I just use these because I know that if I want to rotate the whole clock, I can, like this. Which I just like like to be able to do in case I want to have copy, paste, and have some a few more ticking as well. That's mainly the idea I was going for. So we're going to test out the ticking thing that I was thinking of. So mainly what we can have is just have it turn about maybe 30 degrees because 90, yeah, 90 degrees would be turning one half. But if we do it 30, then it's like it's actually ticking to each one of the numbers on the clock. Well, not really numbers for now. Yeah, so if we have it tick 30 degrees each time, it would look a bit better. Like it's actually ticking. We could make it 10 degrees because then it's sort of like a pro like it's actually ticking. Yeah, but we'll just keep it 30, 30 degrees for now. Another thing, I just need to check the group. So, pretty sure 25 is the group that it needs to rotate on. So, target group 20. For in center group ID 25, which basically means that instead of rotating just um, in 
in, in the center of its axis, it'll rotate on a different axis, which is the little dot here. So that's what we want to happen. We don't want this it to take too long to rotate, so we're gonna make it eat um zero point ten seconds, and we're gonna have one every th three with a two block gap in between. So these rotation triggers will just be on this layer, which will help with um just having the one background thing to get it instead of having it with all the other block design and stuff that we don't really want. So delete that and now let's see if it works. Yeah, so. Okay, see, the, that looks really good right there. What we, what we, what I might also test out is if I can copy paste, um, turn it and then make it smaller. Okay, it's not that much smaller but it might look good. I can also make a smaller one if I really want to. So, okay, now, now it doesn't work as good because, oh yeah, that makes sense because these are still the same group ID, which is not what we want to happen. We want other ones to be ticking, then we need, we need some more, yeah, we need some more we need to change the group ID, so this one, we made 27 for the, actually the big hand doesn't move, so, wait, that's because, um, actually I'm not sure, so, all of the clock is group 26, but the big hand doesn't need to be in a group, so, never mind get rid of that big hand group and then we can make this 27 especially what we need to do take out of each group 24 and 26 and then and even if we wanted to do make it even better we could if there's a drop in the music we can bring these clocks copy these clocks again and make them instead of just turn to a certain point and then turn again we can make them turn continuously and also have the hour clock moving and make it speed up if we want to that would be cool which is sort of inspiration from a level by Dansman, which he did in his 10 level 7 day challenge where he had a bunch of clocks that flew past the screen it looks pretty nice yeah so that's sort of what I'm going for but a bit different because the clocks are actually taking um so edit group add that one 28 that one 28 and then That one twenty eight, but we also need the dot to be twenty eight as well because then it's also part of that group. So you'll see what I mean. I can copy paste all of these except this time. Okay, group twenty eight sent it. Group ID twenty seven. So now they should both be ticking. You can check this out. Yep, that's good. And even if we wanted to go a bit further, we could also change where the, where the hand starts, just so that it looks like we haven't copied it, which would, which would look a bit nicer if they're, it's like they're different clocks in different times, it might look a bit nicer. So I'm going to try doing what I just said. And, um, maybe have it like start here and then can just get that nice and central and then now let's see if what I said had, has worked okay, yep it has which is pretty nice okay 
Mm -hmm. So that's mainly the first part of what I'm gonna try to what I'm doing with this level. So yeah, and so that was that's a sneak peek of a level that's coming up. Also, recently in the featured levels section, a bit. A uh, user called Crystal CM made is the, a level called this, which I thought was really good. So I sent them a friend request saying that that they, that I enjoyed their levels, which I do, and I actually got friended to them. So maybe a collab collab might come up eventually. That would be pretty nice. I'll try to collab after I with them after I release. Uh, the level that I was just working on just so that they get an idea that I'm not like that bad a creator because all their levels are pretty amazing mainly the thing they were missing was air deco but their backgrounds seem to make up for it in this level yeah so yeah, and there's well, some pretty interesting backgrounds, like sort of animation, anime style backgrounds. With some cool music as well. And the highlights of this person is the um, backgrounds, as you can probably tell by now. That's pretty an amazing background. So, maybe a collab will come through. Don't know if they want to work with me, because I'm not that creative a crea creator. Um, but hopefully that level will get me some notice. So, now we can, we'll just chill out and play some um, levels. If there's any, if you want me to play any of your levels, just let me know in the comments. So, let's... Maybe we'll try some demon levels, like, one that I've been thinking of trying to do is Invisible Club Step, which is basically Club Step, but invi with using invisible blocks, so it's a little bit trickier, but not too much trickier. So, there, here we go. Try. My luck with this level. I've already been in the normal club step, but I haven't with three coins, so that's another thing for me to do. Same with deadlocked and fear of everything. I've beaten them, but without the coins. Club step, I got the first coin, but not the other two. That's another thing I'm trying to do. So, the hard ship part is coming up here. A lot of people say these ship parts are like the hardest part of the level but i don't think that's that's it i think mainly the later um later the ufo part is one of the hardest but once you get the rhythm down it's okay and um also the the later upside down ship parts are also hard but it's mainly the stress that gets to you once you've um realized that you're almost about to beat it so it'd be cool if I could beat this level, so... Have another demon. Maybe one day we'll get 10 demons, and then that'll be great. Because I really need to focus. Normally I do a lot better. Yeah, so we got past that part now. The hard part that I was talking about. 
But as I also said, once you've got it down, it's not that hard. Oh, dang it, I tapped too late. Yeah. I'll try some other levels now. The, le the levels are pretty tricky. One that might be possible, um, but there's a trick that you can do with the level Invisible Deadlocked. It's not actually with invisible blocks, it's actually like completely invisible. You can't see what you're doing. Um, I'm not sure like how this got rated. It's kind of unfair. Ooh. Yeah, so what you can do is that you can sync you can sync a video of you beating deadlocked with the you playing the actual thing and then you can see all the layout of the level. Especially if you do it at the same time, then at the exact same time, then it'll be perfect because you'll be doing the right movements of the level at the right time and you can just watch the video to see what you're doing, but you're actually doing it in the game. So if there's any of these that you'd like me to buy, these icons, just let me know. The main one I'm thinking of getting is this 6000 one, but it's kind of... It's a bit expensive. Yeah, so I got friended to that person, Crystal CM. They got a that was their first feature level, the one I showed you. It's pretty pretty nice level. Most of the levels are also pretty good. They're just missing some aspects of the the featured level that that they made. So we'll try some gauntlet levels. I've done most of the gauntlets. The time gauntlet is the one that I've been, I've been enjoying the most. This one called Rose is pretty in incredible. For the um, decoration. Yeah, especially this part. I'm not even sure how they made it. I mean, actually, I'm kind of trying to get how they made it. They get made the things and made them black and white, but also had their colors changing. So pretty, pretty incredible. It looks pretty amazing. Yeah, it's pretty tricky actually. Maybe for another video, I can do that. We'll try it 10 for switch. I should have done by now. It's mainly the end part, which is kind of like, it's kind of stressful. This part is quite, quite nice. and takes up a bit of the level. And the things, like it's swiping the screen and then everything just flashes red. Yeah, this part is some nice block design, I think. This part kind of tricky for the first time. Yeah, quite a nice level. I like a lot of these like, um, gradient levels, but with other colors in them as well. But most of gradient. Ah, oh. sneaky. I saw there. So maybe we can try this one. This levels. It's like baby level for now, and it's pretty nice level. I really enjoy this one. The music and just the gameplay fit to the game for you. It's makes for a really fun level. Each time, so I'll try to get myself. It shouldn't be too hard of a jump. Yeah. I try to do more videos using the microphone as well. So that might be nice. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. They couldn't be there. Try it. Maybe I'll try some Dora Bay basic levels. Those are nice. But, uh, but hard ones. Like ones.
Actually, I'm not sure where the extra ones are. Maybe some levels that we haven't done on here. I can try. Maybe Clutter Funk. Mainly the fake jump near the end that was annoying, but hopefully I, I should be able to get past it. Yeah. It sounds like 2.2 is probably coming out this year. There's of all the new sneak peeks and the finished finished things that he's been telling us, that the developer's been telling us about. That would be really interesting. I can do some videos on what each of the, th the triggers do. Playing the new levels might be fun. But the point is going to be a pretty big update. Yeah, I haven't beaten Electro Dynamics yet. I haven't really been trying it. Mainly because of the, the, um, hard after the easy bit. Like, mainly the UFO bit. And then the rest is also pretty fast. And it is kind of, like, it is pretty hard, but some people say it's harder than Bob Step. I don't know if I agree with them, because it's, like, a lot. The fact of like knowing that club step is a demon kind of makes it a bit harder anyway. Oh, okay, I got a new best anyway. At least. And try hexagon force. I'm not really sure what I messed up on here. I think it was the uh, dual part of the ship. That was kind of tricky. This part isn't that hard, like, if you just do that, you don't even have to fly that much. Even the coin for this level, the coins for this level is pretty easy, so. Yeah, kind of hard part there. And then the ship part's right after that. Level level, for some reason I haven't beaten Geometrical Dominator. Not really sure why. But anyway, let's find some levels that we could do for some easy orbs. We can play that level from the gauntlet, but um, on here, I'll play Mind Control by Darwin, because that's an amazing level. Kind of changed the gameplay of Geometry there quite a lot. Like the background, you can tell he's. Um, yeah, you use some different, yeah, I, I don't even know. This, you must have used some, a lot of glow, and it, it moves around, but it triggers off before it turns, otherwise, um, it would look, it wouldn't look like it's actually, it wouldn't look like it's actually t rotating. So, it's pretty interesting how we did that. It still looks good though. Yeah, and the, um, just the block design here is pretty crazy. Uh, I have, like, how you got the stuff to move and then trigger off the right time. There's so many times as well. This part is pretty interesting, but it's not, like, that hard to do. Yeah, I got, I get glitches there, like, for some reason. If you go down to the last one of those things, then you actually don't make it past it. It's kind of weird. We've got some more gems, which is nice. I might have to conclude the video here. I've done some building tips, level progression, and played some levels. So thank, thanks guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.